Welcome back to Most Buffalo. Cardiac arrest is a topic that touches the hearts of many Western New Yorkers, especially in the wake of Bills player Jamar Hamlin's collapse last January. Next week, volunteers with the American Heart Association are going to Washington to talk to lawmakers about legislation that would improve the chain of survival in elementary and secondary schools in the event of a cardiac emergency at school. Joining us live in studio is American Heart Association's national spokesperson, Linda Marie. Marina, thanks for being here today, Linda. Thank and you for having me. thank you. And we heard your story during Heart Health Month in February here on Channel 2, but remind us your story because it does speak to the importance of being prepared for situations like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. I have heart disease, but eight years ago I suffered a cardiac arrest and my life was literally saved by complete strangers that stepped in that chain of command we talk about, the um, immediate. CPR, access to the AED. My story was honestly a, a series of miracles and um, I'm here today to share my story and help bring awareness to the situation. And you were behind the wheel. I was driving. <laughs> I was driving down Transit Road on a Saturday afternoon. So the fact that I survived this event is truly a miracle. And again, you said that was eight years ago, so now you've gotten involved and you're able to speak about sure. it um, on a local and national basis to spread awareness about this. Absolutely, just heart disease is still the number one killer of women and we can change that. We, um, as women, need to know our numbers and do more, but this, um, this legislative law that they're proposing and um, going to Washington for this week, absolutely imperative for especially my kids that are genetic for my same heart condition. I have a third grader and a fifth grader in those schools and are they really prepared for a cardiac emergency? Um, yeah, and we're talking about that chain of survival. So can you break down what that means and why it's important to, to know what it is and, and for this legislation to be able to help make that chain move faster? Absolutely. I mean, it starts with immediate action. We all saw it on DeMar's story unfolded in front of our eyes, but it was the immediate response by the medical staff to start performing CPR. It's use of the AED. A lot of people don't know what an AED is. It is a small device. It literally will talk you through. If you're having an irregular heart rhythm, the device will literally tell you what to do step by step. But it's the knowledge, it's the tools, it's the programs to bring awareness to that chain of survival that really makes all the difference. Seconds count. Um, and it's, it's, anyone can do CPR. It's really just bringing the tools to the community, to the schools, to raise awareness, turn us from bystanders into responders. And these types of laws and um, policies in place in schools could not only help save kids, but also schools have so events where all ages adults, are there, parents, grandparents. Age. So this is something that could come into play for really anyone in a, in a school setting. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So, all right, so yeah, again, the volunteers are going heading to DC next week with more about this. How can people get involved and help support uh, the cause? Go to the American Heart Association online. You can share your support and send letters to lawmakers. Um, I'm confident that this will be moving forward, but we could always use the support. And that is American Heart Association's national spokesperson, Linda Marina, our local spokesperson uh, for the national cause. We really appreciate you being here today Thank you and talking about me. this all year long, not just during Heart Health Month. So coming up next here on Most